Hi, it's Ronnie, and I'm here with another Two Minute Tuesday, where I teach you about a feature of Plan T or give you a meal planning tip in two minutes or less. Today, I'd like to show you about the cue in Plan to Eat and give you some examples of some times when you might use this feature. So the cue is essentially a subfolder within your recipe book. So when you're on the Plan to Eat app, you can navigate to the queue by tapping on the My Recipes header, and the queue will show up in your options there. And now you're in your queue, which you can use to just house a smaller segment of your recipe book. So as it says right here, the queue is a place to store recipes you plan often and recipes you may want to plan in the future. So that's one, those are two different ways, I guess, that you can use the queue. You can put your family favorite recipes in there, your tried and true recipes into your queue so that you have quick access to them to add them to your meal plans really quickly. Some other ways that people like to use the queue is when you have newly imported recipes that you are waiting to try, you can add them to your queue so that you don't lose them in your recipe book and never actually try those recipes. You can also use the queue to house holiday recipes, diet specific recipes, literally any smaller segment of recipes that you want to have, you can put them in the queue. All right, I'm going to go back to my recipe book and I'll show you how you queue recipes. Okay, so from the recipe book, all you need to do is open one of your courses, tap on the three dot menu of your recipe and go down to the little star that says queued and toggle that onto the queue. And now I can go back to my queue. I have an extra recipe in there and you can see that those cheesy baked chicken breasts are now in my queue. So if you have any questions about the queue, there is going to be a help article in the description of this video. I hope you found it helpful. And now you understand how you can use the queue to segment some of your recipes into a smaller folder in your recipe book. If you have any questions, email us at help at And thanks for watching.